Is there something else that needs to be determined in our society about our political leadership? Is our, and was our political leadership, moral and ethical in its dealings with the East Timorese? Those are questions that I could answer, except for the national security orders that I'm subjected to. I do say this. I have great empathy for Witness K and the struggle that Witness K has gone through both spiritually, mentally and physically. I can understand exactly the position after six long years Witness K has found the position to be. Now, also, apart from standing by my legal advice to Witness K, I also want to stand by the journalists who are named in the charges against me. There are, as I recall correctly, five journalists named, and that is a matter of great concern for me, that journalism is as equally under threat as is the giving of legal advice in good faith. I can't express that legal advice to you at this time. There is a brief a media release that my assistant Matilda has, and she'll make that available to um, the journalists. Uh, because I don't want to drag any further journalists into being involved in the charges against me. So I'm sorry, for the first time in my career, I will not answer questions. It might bring you into trouble. I'm equally conscious that the media are having and living in a difficult era of our democracy. And I'm very conscious that I need to keep my powder dry to deal with uh, this contemptible charge against me. Now, may I take the opportunity to say that it warmed my spirit to see the support here today. It warms my spirit to see that Australians are becoming concerned about the state of our democracy, the uh, freedom of its expression, the restrictions on that, the restrictions on the media, and the fact that I will be put to my trial for giving legal advice in good faith uh, to a member of the security services. Thank you very much. The motion is you, how are you holding I'm from Wollongong, my friend. <laughs> uh, uh, that should say it all. I grew up playing in the mud. It's going to be a lot thrown back soon. Tonight. I'll deal with this uh, attorney and the attempt to uh, suppress our profession. As you well know, they were the early moves in the mid-1930s in Europe. They are, uh, we are in grim times of popularism and suppression and repression. And uh, if if there is anything to come out of this trial, whatever the result, it will be to raise awareness of the state into which our country is slipping. The other issue I want to say as a, as a patriot is, do we really need to show uh, the, repressive, the, the repressive countries, particularly one or two in our region, that we do the same? That we do the same. So there you are. This is not Moscow. It will never become Moscow. We're not going to see the lawyers or the media in prison for speaking the truth. And the great thing I've learned in the 40 years that I've been a lawyer is that if you suppress the truth, the stronger it becomes. And the truth is going to become stronger out of this trial. Whether it produces a better parliamentary democracy and more ethical political leadership, let's see. But if it does, I'm content to have gone through this trauma. Well, of course, I've spent 40 years here. I'm going into the same dock that I've defended people from. This is probably unprecedented. This uh, is an attempt to make no secret about it. This is a very, very determined push to hide dirty political linen. That's what this is all about. Dirty political linen under the guise now of uh, national security imperatives. It's nonsense. I 
can't address that. I can tell you it's dirty political linen and you need to come to court if we get an open court to hear what that is and to hear that it's totally unrelated to national security concerns. In general, uh, is, do you think the press freedom in Australia is under threat? Do you think Australian government is going as a new witness to David McBride to make an example out of people like in, in the future? I am charged with speaking for five journalists. After my chambers raided and my brief seized. And I'm not allowed to tell you why I believe the government had committed very serious unlawful action. I can't address that to you today. That is your answer. That's the state of the democracy. If you ask me another question, you might end up on a charge with me further. Can I just say, uh, or ask, do you know specifically what the charge is against you and is there an agreement of facts? There's no agreement on any facts. That's why the charge is defended. The witness K and I were charged with conspiracy. We thought that a person who comes to seek legal advice from me with approval is conspiring with me in acting on my advice, so the is. Now, Kay has reached the conclusion that uh, uh, perhaps uh, he needs to exit the process. That needs to be addressed somewhere else, and I can't comment on that. He's a decent, honourable person subjected to six years of seclusion, harassment and pressure. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hooray!